Let G be a weighted, connected, undirected graph with distinct positive edge weights. If every edge weight is increased by the same value, then which of the following statements is or are true? P. Minimum spanning tree of G does not change. Q. Shortest path between any pair of vertices does not change. Four options are given here. So, this is a question from data structures topic regarding graphs. Particularly, they are asking us about minimum spanning trees and shortest path between any two vertices. So, we have been given an weighted connected undirected graph with distinct positive edge weights so if you look at this graph this is this satisfies all the condition given in the question it is weighted each edge has its own weight it is connected undirected graph with distinct positive edge weights all the edge weights are positive and distinct right so now consider this as node a and this as node b okay now what is the shortest path between a and b here if you see if you are taking this path, there are two paths. I can either take this path or this path. Weight of this path is 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. And weight of this path is 7. So clearly 6 is shorter than 7. So the shortest path between A and B is currently this path. That is from A to this node, then this node, then this node. Having weight of 6. Now, if every edge weight is increased by the same value, then what will be the new edge weights? New edge weights will be, let us say we are increasing value by 1. So let us say this edge weight will be 7 plus 1, 8, 3 plus 1, 4, 2 plus 1, 3, 1 plus 1 is 2. Now the edge weights are 2, 3, 4 and 8. Now which is the shortest path? Here A to B the path distance is 8. A to B via this one is 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2 is 9. Now 9 is greater than 8. Previously the shortest path was this path. But now the shortest path is this path after we are increasing edge weights. That's because in a shorter path, when we are increasing every edge weight by a constant value, whichever path was having larger number of edges, that has a disadvantage. If a path had three edges in it, now when we are increasing every edge weights by one, the edge weight itself will increase by uh, three times we are increasing it by one. So the edge weight will increase by three. Whereas this path had only one edge, so it increased by only plus one. So in such cases, previously this was the shortest path, but now this is the shortest path. So clearly Q is wrong. Shortest path with any pair of vertices does not change is false. We have proved it with counter example. Now P, minimum spanning tree of G does not change. Is that true? Let us say a graph has six edges, A, B, C, D, E, F. If you know Kruskal's uh, algorithm for finding on minimum spanning trees. If you don't know, you should learn that. There, I mean, minimum spanning trees are asked in almost every gate question. So, if you don't know about Kruskal's and Prim's algorithm, you should learn that. So, in Kruskal's algorithm, what we do is first we'll sort all the edges based on their weights. So, let us say the edge weights are A, B, C, D, E, F. It can be any number. We just know that these are distinct positive weights. So, let us say the sorted order is A, uh, C, F, B, D, and E. So A, B, C, D, E, F edge weights after sorting, let us say these are the weights A, C, F, B, D and D. What we are doing is we are increasing all the weights by the same value. So A will become A plus K, C will become C plus K, F will become F plus K, B plus K, D plus K, E plus K. Now in Kruskal's algorithm, initially how we found the minimum spanning tree was we found the sorted order and then from that we will choose edges one by one. So first we will choose the edge and add it to the minimum spanning tree. Then we will choose edge C and add it to the minimum spanning tree. Like that we will choose every edge and add it to the minimum spanning tree such that it won't form cycle. At any point let us say while adding F, if it forms a cycle between edges A, C and F then we won't be adding F. We will ignore it. We will go to the next edge B and add it to the spanning tree in that way. That is how Kruskal's algorithm works. Now the minimum spanning tree obtained depends on the sorted order of edge weights. Now if we are increasing all the edge weights by a constant value, the new edge weight is A plus K, C plus K, etc. Now the sorted order still doesn't change. If we are increasing all the edge weights by a constant value, the sorted order between uh, two edge, edges doesn't change. If C is appearing before D, we can be 100% sure that C plus K will appear before D plus K in the new order. So if you are increasing all the edge weights by a constant value, the sorted order still won't change. So if you run Kruskal's algorithm again, we will be choosing this as the first edge, then C plus K as the second edge, then F plus K this as the third edge, etc. So the algorithm will work in the same way since the sorted order of edges doesn't change. So option T is true. Minimum spanning tree of G does not change on increasing all the edges by a constant, uh, constant weight. So the right answer is option A. P only.